Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Hope everyone's having a good afternoon. Okay. Thanks for coming to our research webinar on locating county records. My name is Clint Drake, and I'm a reference librarian here at the Texas State Library and Archives Commission, or TSLAC for short. In this webinar, we'll be talking about Texas County records, what they are and where you can find them online or from regional and local sources. We will finish up with a few resources for researching a county's history and then have time for a few questions at the end. Here's a little background about our agency. We are located in downtown Austin, Texas, next to the state capitol building. Currently, our archives reading room is open to the public by appointment only. Before getting started, we'd like to share an overview of TSLAC's mission and the service areas our agency provides to Texans. Our mission is to provide Texans access to needed information, to preserve the archival record of Texas, to enhance the service capacity of public, academic, and school libraries, to assist public agencies in the maintenance of their records, and to meet the reading needs of Texans with disabilities. Our service areas include the Reference and Information Center, the Texas State Archives, and the Sam Houston Center in Liberty, Texas. Today's webinar is part of our mission to provide Texans access to needed information, and in particular, information that helps you find records that we preserve. You can visit our website to learn more about our agency. Okay. Let's get started with a quick overview of Texas county records. What exactly are county records? When we interact with our local county or state government, those interactions create records. Some common types of records that county governments maintain are listed here. For example, vital records like birth, death, marriage, and divorce, property records like taxes and deeds, and county court and election records. These records can help genealogy researchers in many ways. You might be able to prove family relationships or show how where family members may have lived, worked, or died. Some records can help you trace family members through time and across different areas. Note that some particular types of records, such as birth and school records, may not be available for research until they meet certain criteria for public use. If you happen to encounter these restrictions, you may be able to view only the public portions of those records. Where are county records found? Many county records are now online, either digitized or on genealogy websites such as Ancestry and Family Search or on county websites. Many of these records can be searched by name and will show you a text transcription from an index and some collections even contain images of the actual records. Some county records are stored in regional depositories, either as microfilmed copies or as archived original records or both. Some original records may have been kept with the county. You'll want to contact the county directly about which records they hold and how long they are required to keep those records. Other helpful records may be held at local libraries and museums or at schools, churches, and cemeteries. Let's go over some examples of where you can find county records. You're probably familiar with searching for family names online and seeing results listed from different collections, but a name search may not include other digitized records that have not been indexed which won't appear with just a name search. One way to see more digitized collections for a particular county is by using the place search on the Family Search catalog. To do this, you'll go to familysearch.org, click search, and then click catalog. Here's the search page where you can enter a location or place. Start typing in a county name in this field. For this example, I typed in Hayes and selected the full location name to fill in this field. Select the online option 
under availability to find digitized indexes and records, and then click search. Here's the results page for Hayes County. At the top, you'll see some helpful background notes on the county. Categories of available records are listed below. Click a category to expand it and list the collections or records that are available. When I click the taxation category, there's a link to the family search collection titled Texas County Tax Rolls 1846 to 1910. If we wanted to explore those records, I would click the link for more information about access. On Family Search, you can preview most collections without a login, but you'll need to create a free account to view the actual records. Also, some records are only available to view on site at a Family History Center or Family Search affiliate library. If you're researching tax, rec tax records, Keep in mind that TSLAC has a collection of Texas County tax rolls on microfilm available for on-site research. If you're looking for tax records for years that are not online, you can contact us for access options. I'll share our contact information at the end of the presentation. Not all the categories listed will include actual county government records. For example, you may see published transcriptions of government records or local historical and private records, such as baptisms or cemetery lists. In the Hayes County Archives and Libraries category, you'll see two published county records inventories. County inventories can be quite helpful. They include details about how the county's records were organized, or they may explain some abbreviations or notations used in the different time periods. County websites are another possible place to find digitized county records. Many counties have indexed their records and have them available to search online. For an alphabetical list of Texas County websites, go to the Texas Association of Counties website, select About Texas Counties, and then click Texas County Websites. When you're browsing a county's website, check for links that mention online services or public records. For example, the Erath County website has a link to online services where you can select county clerk records to view, vital records, land records, cattle brands, and more. Not all county records are online. They may be available in other formats through the Regional Historical Resource Depository Program, or RHRD for short. The RHRD program collects and preserves local government records and provides access to them free of charge through 23 regional depositories across Texas. Many county records housed at RHRD libraries were microfilmed through a partner program between TSLAC and the Genealogical Society of Utah, which is now Family Search. These reels are listed by county on our website and are available to borrow through interlibrary loan. Many original records remain with the county, but some original paper records may have been transferred to the RHRD. When working with county records on microfilm, keep in mind that not all counties have their records filmed, and counties that did have their records filmed may not have provided all of their records. Every county differs in how they maintained older records. The best source for details about a county's records will be the county itself. A list of our HRD libraries and information about the program is available on our website. To find out which RHRD holds the microfilm for the county you're researching, you can use the county records on microfilm guide on our website. The microfilm holdings at TSLAC are listed together on this guide. Check our website for the full list of our RHRD counties that are not shown in this screenshot. Click a county name to see the detailed microfilm listing. Let's look at Hayes County. 
which is one of our RHRD counties. Here's the microfilm listing for Hayes County. Everything you need to request these reels is on this page. First, you'll see the RHRD that houses the specific county records listed at the top. TSLAC is the RHRD for Hayes County. That means we maintain the reels and make them available for on-site research or to borrow through interlibrary loan. Next, you'll see the reels group by the entity that created the records and then grouped by record type and reel number. Contact your local library for help placing your request to borrow any reels of interest. Back on our county records guide, you'll see that the microfilm for counties that are not held at TSLAC are listed separately. Our HRDs are localized so that someone researching Angelina County records, for example, doesn't need to travel all the way to Austin to view them. Let's look at the listing for Angelina County. First, you'll see that Angelina County records are housed at Stephen F. Austin State University in Nacogdoches, Texas. So that institution is our HRD that maintains the reels and makes them available to researchers. Again, you'll see reels grouped by the entity that created the records and then grouped by record type and reel number. Quick note about the offices that created these records. Generally, you can look for birth, death, marriage, and property records under the county clerk's office and records like divorce decrees and district court records are under the district clerk. If you're not seeing the records you need on microfilm, remember the RHRD may hold some original paper records. TSLAC is the RHRD for several central Texas counties, but we also hold a few other counties for RHRDs who ran out of room or left the program and needed to transfer permanent custody of their county's records to us. TSLAC does hold some original county records in addition to the microfilm. Examples can include scholastic census and superintendent records, marriage records, property records, voter registration and poll lists, county court records, justice of the peace records, and others. Let our staff know what county dates and types of records you're looking for so our archive staff can check our holdings. The Sam Houston Regional Library and Research Center is TSLAC's facility in Liberty, which is the RHRD for several counties in Southeast Texas. Check the Sam Houston Center's local records guide on our website for original records available for those counties. Let's take a look at the listing for Chambers County. For each county, you'll see the records grouped by the entity that created them, and then the record type and date range covered by the records. These figures here let you know how many volumes or cubic feet of records you might be working with. There may be additional records that are not listed on these guides contact the Sam Houston Center directly for information about their holdings. You'll see their contact information at the end of the presentation. In addition to checking for records online and through the county's RHRD, you may need to request original records directly from the county or look for other relevant records at local repositories. Many of these records are described on our website. If you know the county where an event occurred, you should start with the county government office that handles those records, like the county or district clerk. Information about any county archives, if they're available, will usually be listed on the county's website. Even though local government records are supposed to remain with the government office or be transferred to an archive or RHRD, sometimes they do turn up in other places. Check with the local library or historical society for other area resources. Private records like cemetery records, school and church records, or hospital records can also be very helpful to genealogists. If you aren't sure of the county or other helpful resources, 
can include federal census and military records, state birth and death records, newspapers, and published family histories. These can all help you narrow down a location to search. Finally, county histories can be helpful for quickly finding the date a county was organized or dates of events that could have destroyed records or caused them to be moved, like courthouse fires or floods. Here are some resources that we often suggest, starting with the Texas State Historical Association's Handbook of Texas and Texas Almanac. Family Search also has a research wiki that includes helpful genealogy guides for Texas counties. For some early Texas county records, you may also want to check with surrounding or parent counties as county boundaries may have changed over time. Some helpful resources for boundary changes include the Newberry Library's Atlas of Historical County Boundaries and the Texas Gen Web Project County Index, which lists the parent county or government in place when each county was formed. For help with your research, you can contact staff here at TSLAC or the Sam Houston, Houston Center by mail, phone, or email. When contacting us, it's helpful to provide as much information as possible, like any names, states, and counties you're researching. Even if you only have a few details or just starting your research, we'll do our best to point you in the right direction. In summary, we've covered the types of county records available for researchers, where the county records can be found online, on microfilm, and from regional and local sources, and how to reach us for assistance. Thank you everyone for attending. We look forward to helping you with your research.